You know, I only just noticed this during the sync test, but... The background images on the menu are actually different. They actually show Raven instead of Cat. Man, that's some attention to detail. And there's even a Raven in the background! Oh, I love the developers of this game. Anyway, hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Gravity Rush 2, The Arc of Time, Raven's Choice. That's like two subtitles for the price of one there. In the last episode, we started off our adventure and tried to wake up the children of the Ark, but unfortunately, we kind of effed up space-time. Yeah, it's kind of bad, and now we're a child, and now we need to regain our special memory. Whatever it is, so... Let's go forward. The man with the hat left us all alone. He was the only adult on the bus. Like there's no shifting gravity. Okay, never mind. I was about to say that we're not going to get shifted to a different place entirely, but looks like the bridge itself is going to shift instead. I wonder what happened to that only adult. That's actually kind of weird now that I think about it. Did the bus driver just straight up get axed? The huts we found down below were. Oh god, they became our only shelter. I missed the end of that sentence. I'm sorry. I think I mentioned it briefly last episode, but one thing I've noticed is that the sentences, like, down at the bottom in this DLC, they seem to go a lot faster this time. I'm not sure if it's just my imagination, it probably is, but... It's just one of those things that I kind of noticed. Also, now that I'm looking at this place a second time... I'm getting some near automata vibes. That's all I'm going to say. I'm all. That's all I'm going to say. Just in place, that, uh, just in case anyone hasn't played that game or hasn't watched my playthrough of near automata. But yeah, it's giving me those vibes, which I'm now going to take as a bad thing. Oh god, that looks like platforming, and that looks like a giant spider. Yeah, it's giving me the creeps. In the village we made, there was a big scary monster. I was always afraid it would eat me. Is she talking about the one that was flying? Because I don't think that was a spider. Yeah, maybe it just went with spider because spiders are scary. That being said, I actually don't mind spiders as much as some other people mind them. I mean, I kind of read that- I read this interesting theory about why we're afraid of spiders, and it's got something to do with an ancient, you know, defense thing in our brain, basically looking at the shape of that spider and basically going, oh, that's dangerous, be scared of it. I, I think that's only a theory, though. I don't think that's been proven. But it was an interesting read, then, nonetheless, but I've never really had that much problem with spiders. Don't get me wrong, I would rather not hold one or have it be in my personal bubble, but... It's just one of those, it's one of those creatures that never really bothered me. Also, that was close! Ooh, jeez. Try not to mess up on the easy jumps, shall I? Tiny things going into my personal bubble. Now, that's a thing that annoys me. That That's a thing that genuinely just, like, irks me whenever it happens. I don't care what it is. Spider, ant, wood, wood louse, whatever. Just get out of my personal bubble, please. Ugh, it's the worst every time it happens. Anyway. Let's actually focus on something that's relevant. When the adults were gone, Caesar protected me and the others. Kind of half expecting the next memory to just say, Caesar died for our sins. <laughs> Caesar was a martyr. He, he almost kind of was, actually, considering that he's in the Ark. Like, you know in a nightmare in between dreams and reality, but I guess that's the other kids as well. Oh jeez, I missed, but I should have been paying attention, I missed my ride. Enough random thoughts. That's enough. Let's actually focus on, you know, our objective. Oh man. 
Okay, there we go. See, this is why I try not to ramble during videos, because otherwise I just completely forget what I'm doing. Hell, there's been times when I'm halfway through a sentence and I forget what I'm even talking about with my sentence. It's sometimes that bad. The things that fell from the sky were our only food. Yeesh. You're lucky that it wasn't rotten by the time it got down. Either that or you had to, you know, purify it or something. What's that over there? It's definitely a thing. What's this thing? Did it fall down here with the other stuff? Hey, it's making weird noises. Maybe it's someone's airboat? If it's still working, it can get us back home. I've got to tell Zaza. Hmm, I wonder if I can fly it back. Do little as it is you, Hexen. Fessy blood, Kush, Ish. Villa Sisse, Hexavo, Morphe de la Sea. La la jutulelo, duple, Ebola Sisse. Back, Raven. Oh yeah. Y you. Ooh. Poor Satcha was so alone when she returned to Hetzville. You discovered time flowed differently at the bottom of the world. A few months had passed down below, but half a century passed in Hetzville. Caesar's parents were gone, and you were left all alone to offend for yourself. But then you met Z and became the powerful gravity shifter Raven. You worked so hard to save the children you left behind. I know it. You tried everything you could, but nothing worked. That is, until you worked with the other shifter to get the children into the Ark. The Ark was the only trying thing to... The Ark was only trying to keep them safe when it put them to sleep. And here you are again doing whatever it takes to save them. How much do you know about me? Sachia. I know more about the girl named Satya and the woman named Raven than you realize. Oh. You're one of them, aren't you? Like Gade and Cyanea. I do what I can to keep this world system free from bugs. <laughs> you could say I'm an engineer of sorts. Raven. Raven. To fix the present, you're going to have to fix the past. Just like then, you need to get the children on the Ark and take them back to Hexville. See. Si. They're waiting for you to lead them. Zaza. There you are. That's the Zaza I saw when I went back down the pillar. I can't imagine how hard it must have been for him to protect the others. Shredda? Will the art really take us home? Huh? The children believe in you. You'd better not be giving them false hope. If this is a lie... Even if this isn't real, I can't bear to let Caesar down. Oh yeah. I'll get everyone home, trust me. I promised a little girl named Satya I would. Satya? Satya, is she okay? Where is she? I had to. She's waiting for you. Now, help me get everyone on the Ark. Oh wait, this is a mechanic? 
Escorting Zazer. Guard Zazer as he makes his way to the Ark. Zazer will do whatever he can to reach the Ark, although he will try to avoid collectors. Try not to let him get cornered. Use all of Raven's abilities to defeat the collectors. Okay, so Blue Jays, Energy Balls. I don't think I've tried that ability out yet. Um, circled, but after creating Blue Jays to throw, and then, okay, all the high pressure stuff. Okay, got it. Oh god, that's a lot of collectors. Okay. Thank you for having a big dumb glowing weak spot, though. Okay. Oh man, this is gonna be... Oh, this is gonna be a thing. Ah, stupid weird machine thing. And on Zaza, I'll be there in a second. Let me just pick up this memory. Time was cruel. It changed so much and left me alone. God. Being like an eight-year-old child and having to... live on your own without your adoptive parents, not even knowing where your real parents are. Uh, must have been awful. Okay, so that's what the Blue Jays do. I can literally just make, um, things. The, uh, throwable, shifting things. I don't know what to call them. Whatever. That's a cool ability. I like it. Another memory over here. I'll be back in a second, Zazer. Yeah, I know I need to stay close. Zazer didn't recognize the woman I grew up into in Hexville. You definitely changed a lot since you were that scared little girl. Damn. It's very awkward to hit their weak spot sometimes. Oh god, Zazer went over there. Oh jeez, I wasn't paying attention yet again. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh, you got another point? Stupid. Oh, jeez. Oh, God. Why are there so many of them here? Come on! Run, Tavon! Seriously? One on your back of your head, too? Well, I guess if you're gonna have glowing weak spots, you might as well have a few of them. Oh my god. Ah, <laughs> oh, jeez. I'm trying to pick off the ones that um, are, like, um, going to, you know, connect to Zazer. But it's not working so great. I'm not going to lie. Okay, you know what? Screw this. Okay, finally. And then he can jump onto this one. It works out perfectly. Oh god, it doesn't work out perfectly. If collectors spawn on my thing. Come on, Zazer, come on, Zazer, come, come on, Zazer, jump down. Ugh. Are you good? Okay, you're good. Oh, damn it, I want the memory. My little sister Satya was... His little sister Satya was gone. Well, at least his little sister grew up into a badass. I mean, that's something at least, right? Oh god, where, uh, where is he? Oh, I lost my bearings! Oh god! No! Ah, oh, damn it! Okay, didn't go that far back. Okay, that's good. Oh man, this is stressful. Yeah, I realize there's a monster on the next island, Zazer. I'm working on it, and uh, my super ability went, and oh god, the camera freaked out. That's like three staples of the LP that just happened right there. Okay, you know what? This island is worthless. 
this one, though. I was too late to get to. Damn it! I am not very good at this. Okay, can you jump onto this one? This one's a pretty good island to jump onto, right? Yeah, there we go. There's so, there were so many times I wanted to tell him it was me. Well, why didn't you, Raven? What am I talking about? I know why. Or at least I can hazard a guess as to why. Oh! Oh, I missed! Oh, god damn it! Ugh! Freaking collectors spawning on the damn island were not expecting it. Okay. Get off this floating thing! Oh man. I'm so close, I'm so close, I'm so close. Okay, if I get some blue jays. Okay, right, I am staying on this island. I can shoot them from here. No one does spawn? No, okay, there we go. Get off! Okay. Okay. Um, do you think we can make a mad dash for it? Is that a thing? I guess that isn't a thing. I guess I'm gonna have to clear the collectors. Um, I'm gonna spawn, right? I'm gonna risk it. Hey. Oh. That's right, that's right, that's right! Oh god! Camera is freaking out. There we go. <laughs> oh, jeez. Come on, Zaza. Come on, Zaza. Oh, man. No, 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 no. Don't you dare! Oh yeah, we made it all right. Jufredo, oh Jule, do sedo ladiso, adro lulu eple pledo, judules lodua, bela jushima, jukiva. Why isn't anyone moving? Dusty, where are you? Oh, this is seriously freaky. Oh god, we really messed up space-time. Oh god, we really messed up space-time. If only I could just kick you in the face right now! <laughs> Whatever. Oh god, don't touch the people. Don't touch the people. I'm really, really... Mmm. Mmm, touching the people. I don't feel good about touching the people. Where's Cat? Wait, Dusty! You want me to follow you? Dusty! Where'd you go? I see you. Dusty, there you are! What's gotten into you? Are you leading me to Cat? 
What happened to Hexville? The explosion with the Ark. Was that my fault? Dusty! Where'd that Dusty go now? Is that him over there? Yeah! God, thank God I have good eyesight. Yeah, you've got to stop that. Does, uh, where are you going? How can I get this place back to normal? I better find Cat. Together we can figure this out. Cat! Not you two. How'd this happen? You! Raven, I'm afraid this world system's body is more serious than I thought. I should mention that this isn't my true form. I just use it when I need to reveal myself to people. Though I suppose no one is going to notice. Why aren't people mo why aren't they moving? What happened to Hexville? A bit of system trouble caused the world's clock to stop. I did what you told me. Why didn't it fix things? Would you? Blame me if you like, but this is out of my control. There are just too many variables involved. One bud leads to another. The final result? System freeze. The one thing I do know is that any direct interference on my part will make things worse. How convenient! Fine. Tell me what I need to do to fix this. We were so close to waking them. I... I need to get time moving again. Lovely. Unfortunately, the world couldn't process the explosive results of the experiment. The elements of light and darkness that powered the Ark escaped during the event. It was almost as if they had a mind of their own. Of course, that would be ridiculous. Although... But you just tell me what I need to do! Oh. oh, right. Bring back the light and darkness. They fled into two powerful keepers. Find them. The Nevi are closely tied to light and darkness. They will be your guide. Heh, <laughs> when are Nevi not my guide? What? Am I supposed to walk up to Nevi and ask where the light and darkness ran off to? Wait, now how am I supposed to find them? Nevi? Huh? They're not stopped like everything else. Don't worry, Cat, I'll be back to help you. A light. I need to follow it. The light's gone. Do I need to take down more Linnet Nevi? Well, I'm going to take a hazard to a guess and say yes. Okay, so the light particles are going this way. Oh man, this is this is interesting. They are really throwing out all the different game mechanics here. Like all the new ones, that is. Over this way? Maybe to a different area? Yeah, this way. Hmm. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Where is it this time? Where is it this time? Ah, damn it, I didn't get a good look. I was too busy. Trying to get my bearings. Over here. The Pleasure dist District. I'm going to assume that it's still that way. I guess it is. 
Oh god, oh god, oh god! Ah, damn it! Come on, Nevi, where are you? Where are you? There's one. Down here? It's so near! Cyanea, you can move? Yeah. The girl known as Cyanea is asleep like the others. I guard her dream, the dream that makes this world. As long as she sleeps, there is a chance that she might repair the dream. Eva. Why does it always take so long to get an answer out of you creator types? I need the element of darkness you're guarding to fix the world. A boy. One of your kind told me that. Oh. A boy. Ah, you mean bit. See. Si. The darkness, you say. Come to think of it, something does feel strange inside Cyanea. When the Ark exploded, I noticed a presence entering her dream. Let me show you the way. Leave. Raven looked deep into my eyes. I know it. Dreamer, not yet. We need more than the power of darkness to fix the arc in time. Light complements the dark. Love if the power of darkness entered you, then the element of light must have entered Gade. Si. You must find him. Only with both him and Cyanea can we continue. <laughs> Just my freaking luck. I'm not sure how he's involved, but I need to find Gade. I'm guessing that means I need to follow some more light to probably a different district. Ow! Thank god I have a really high health bar. Okay, this way we go. Over here. I'm just going to take a wild guess and say it's probably in this area. Which I think is actually where I started, I think? Maybe? Alright, let's see what we got. Defeating Nevi should help me track down the Keeper of Light. Way ahead of you, Raven. Let me just work on this one. Down below. I think I got a pretty good guess. Yep. That's Gade. Ah, Raven. It's good to see you back to your old self. <laughs> you were a cute kid, but the past is the past. Uh... I wanted to help you, but something happened to me after the Ark exploded. Must be one of those bugs that kid keeps going on about. See. Makes it tough for me to hold the world together. Now we're all together. Oh. Ah, there you are. Ula. No explanations this time, just tell me what I need to do. Love if only we could intervene directly, this would be so much easier. See. Unfortunate, yes, but that's the way it goes. We need your help, Raven. It has to be you. You are part of the problem, but that's why you can also be the solution. I thought I said no explanations! Let's get to work. Raven, we're going to need Gade and Cyanea's help. Huh? Wait, what happened to the elements of light and darkness I was supposed to recover? Would you? Uh, you'll figure it out. No explanations, right? <laughs> right. My eyes once served as a conduit for Cat to reach the secret world of Cyanea's dreams. Look into my eyes. Are you ready? 
I'll be taking you both together. To a duel. To the plane where light and dark reside. Hmm. All we can do now is hope. Oh, this is some world deception stuff right here. What is this place? Oh. Whatever it is, it looks super cool! Glad to see you arrived, safe and sound. Welcome to the plane where light and darkness reside. Huh? What's going on? What are you doing here? Dear. I'm a creator! And the guardian of the gateway between worlds. What we need to set everything straight again is in here. Now listen carefully, because this won't be easy. You'll need to wait the light and darkness and force them to manifest in physical form. See. Start with calling forth the element of light. To do so, protect the light nevi. And defeat the dark nevi. When you do, you'll convert the areas they hold to the light. Once you've converted everything, the element of light should manifest in physical form. Oh, sure. So, take down all of the dark nevi. Shall we? Well, if you want to make things simple, yes. Duh. You could have just told me that! <laughs> <laughs> Won't be easy. But you're the only one who can do it. I'm not sure why, but you seem to be at the center of everything going wrong. First, I need to summon the element of light. And guys, we'll be doing that on the next episode of Let's Play Gravity Rush 2. So, if you liked this episode, remember to like, comment, share, subscribe, um, all of that fun stuff. And on the next episode, it's Re Nevi Race War, I guess. Hmm. I'll see you guys then.